as Nigeria marks its 63rd independence anniversary. Christian faithfuls have joined other well-meaning Nigerians to celebrate the country by offering special prayers and thanksgiving to God for peace, unity and harmony as an indivisible nation for all and calls on government at all levels for sober reflection and attitudinal change for growth and development of the country. The Christian faithfuls made the special appeal at the Evangelical Church winning all Equa Dominion Avenue, Narayi High Coast in Kaduna State. One of the things that is actually happening in this country, we lack um, faithfulness in our leadership. And most times when someone is given an opportunity to serve in an office, what he goes there to do is to just enrich himself. But my advice is that we, once we are in an office, let us see the need of us, uh, you know, uh, supporting and also assisting the masses so that to bring about unity in the country. The issue of unity is very paramount and we should not take it for granted. Also, Cardinal State President of Boys Brigade Nigeria at Solomon Ulukotum says Nigerian government needs to rise up to address the challenges of hunger and insecurity ravaging the nation. Dear country Nigeria, celebrating 63rd anniversary. Advice for Nigeria, there is plenty of pain in the land. There is anguish. People are dying not just from terrorism, banditry, but from hunger. And you know hunger cuts across uh, tribal lines, cuts across professional lines. President Ahmed Bola Tinubu and his team and every governor at each state must promote justice must promote equitable distribution of the nation's resources. And what more, they should plug the leaking force in the states and in the nation. It is our prayer that the government will get things right, that these young ones will be proud of our country again, just like we were in the 60s and the 70s. They have mixed feelings in Nigeria at 63. We have even human resources. We have it in abundance. Nigeria is growing. Nigeria has the highest prospect. My only sadness is that we seem to be getting stagnant rather than moving forward. We could have 70 days, even today. The streams are there. All the dams are there. They're not being utilized. So even 70 days, sir, you go and produce something, why should you be hungry? Utilize. And there is peace. There is security. My brother, we don't have to be hungry. We can grow from there. I'm told also, what takes us five, ten years to produce, like rubber. Co Today you have improved breeds that you can produce cocoa within three, four years. So it means that if you have long life, in four or five years time, you'll be producing in the life of a government. This service is a wake-up call to us as Christians and as a church to come together irrespective of our challenges and the difficulties we have found ourselves in in this country. To, to come together to pray as always the solutions to our problems lies with God. So in this service and as Christians I have learned uh, and I've been admonished to put our trust in God and continue to pray for Nigeria for its deliverance and for God to take us to the promised land. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.